Hey, in this video, I'm going to give you my honest physical therapist review of the Be Active Plus Sciatica Acupressure Brace. This product was seen on TV and it's still heavily marketed as a sciatica relief tool. And I got one to try out here and show you how it works and also discuss how it might be beneficial for you if you're dealing with a sciatica problem. Now, everything that you see here is what came in the mail. I got this off Amazon. Uh, so it just came in this little plastic wrapper. It was all folded up nice and neat in there. And it's just got this one sheet about how to put it on, instructions how to use it, a little disclaimer here on the bottom. Um, it's made out of neoprene, so it's pretty simple. And it's just got this Velcro strap that goes through here. You put it on your leg under your knee and you strap it on right there. This is a one size fits most deal, so there isn't really like a small, medium, or large. And this can be used on the left and the right. You would just make sure to flip it over to have it on the right side. Now, when you put this on, there's this acupressure device here. I'm not really sure what that is made of, but it's it's firm, but has some give to it. It feels like maybe some, some pretty dense foam that's in there. I don't want to open it up and destroy it. I won't be able to use it, but but there's something in there that's designed to push on the acupressure point um, where the sciatica is running behind your knee, down your leg. So um, that's what you wanna have against you. The outside right here, this is the outside part. This is gonna be more abrasive tissue on your skin. Not that it's real abrasive at all. It's still pretty soft, but this is definitely the softer side where the neoprene is. Now, I looked through the research to see if there's anything, uh, any new research that's come out specifically for this device, where's the label? The Be Active Plus Sciatica Brace, the acupressure brace, and I couldn't find anything. Um, so if you find something, if you're out there and you know of research for this, please comment the, the link to the research articles. I'd love to see it. Um, so I, I can't tell you that you know this is research backed, um, but what I can tell you is I've had patients recommend this to me because they've found it to be successful for them. There's also over 800 ratings on Amazon for this. Um, it's got four stars, so that's pretty good. I'm sure this is a tool that really works well for some people and then not so well for other people because sciatica is such a complicated condition. It has so many nerve branches. Sometimes it hurts below the knee, sometimes it doesn't. So this is probably for sciatica pain that is more below the knee, although you might get some benefit if your sciatica is more above the knee too. Let me show you how to use this. Let's just clear some space. I'm gonna put it on each leg. Let me show you the right leg first. I'll just sit up on the table. There's the acupressure point, and it's supposed to go right back in here, not directly in the back of the calf, but a little off to the side, because that's where there's a fibular nerve. Now, you could technically put it right in the middle of the calf in the back, because that's where the, the tibial nerve runs. That's another branch of the sciatic nerve. I don't think it really matters, just as long as you experiment and try to put it on the right sides. Now, as I put this on my right, I'm thinking I have it upside down, maybe. There you go, like that. So now I can see the, the R is facing up. That was pretty simple to figure out. I'm holding the acupressure point in position back there. And I'm gonna cinch it down a good amount here and the velcro is a little a little long for me but that that'll work right there so there you go it's giving me some pressure now I don't have sciatica right now fortunately well or fortunately but you know I can't tell you from experience right now like I, I'm dealing with an active sciatica problem and that this gives me some relief what I do feel though is definitely a little bit of pressure it's light it's not real intense I'm sure if I were to cinch this down some more, it, it would be more. But that that little dense foam, I think it's dense foam, is applying some pressure right in there. And now this is designed to be discreet so that you could use this, you know, under clothes. You could put your pants on over this as long as it's not they're not way too tight. Um, this this is pretty low profile though, and it, it is it is pretty comfortable to wear. Now you should put it on right below the fold of your knee so that you can bend your knee all the way. For me, that works right there. And I can see how this might slide down in some people as well. I'm just going to stand up with this on. And for me, yeah, it's a little bit loose. I feel like if I really tighten it, that's a little better. There we go. So I feel like I can move with it pretty well. And like I said, you can adjust it so it's right behind your 
your calf muscle, the upper part of your calf muscle where the nerve runs right in there, or a little bit out to the side. There's another nerve that runs right here. That's a pretty big nerve as well. So let me show you how to put it on the other side. There's the acupressure point. I'm going to put that directly on the back of my calf. And let's move this over. Cinch it down. There you go. And the L is on the top part right there. There it is. Got some pressure right there. It's comfortable. It's not aggressive. I like that. And I can adjust it for that little upper outer part a little bit higher. I can bend my knee pretty well in there as well. So there you have it. It's a really simple to use device. Um, it's super affordable. I think I got this for just over 20 bucks. It's not like it's, you know, a huge investment. And what I would recommend, let me give you my honest physical therapist's opinion, my review about this device. Don't get your hopes up about this. Um, I think it's worth giving it a shot. You can, if you're dealing with sciatica, especially if it's been a while, like it's been more than a month that you've been having sciatica. If it's been longer than that, you're definitely looking for something to give you some pain relief. And you might even have turned to pain medications. This could get you off pain medications or at least reduce the amount of pain medications that you're taking. If you can find some device that is outside your body, it's external, you're not having to take any medications or go get injections, and you can get some temporary relief, then uh, it's definitely worth the $20, $30 investment that you'll put into this. Now, I don't think this is a long-term solution, just like medications aren't a long-term solution either, nor are injections or surgery. Um, this is designed to just allow you to get some short-term relief to maybe get through the day, but the long-term problem needs to be addressed. And with sciatica, there's usually a root muscle imbalance causing the pelvis to twist and pinch the nerve. There could also be pinched nerves up in the spine causing pinching down the nerve. Let me show you real quick. I've got the, uh, the model here. So the sciatic nerve pops out right here. If this pelvis bone is shifted up or down or this way or that way, it can shift many different directions. It'll pinch the nerve and that nerve goes down the leg and into that calf area where I was showing you. Now, you could also get the nerve pinched right up in here. Those nerves bundle together and they come out down in here. The problem up here needs to be addressed. This does not address that. This is just giving you some acupressure from the outside. And it's not real aggressive. I like that a lot. So I think there's low risk in using this. Um, really, you can only win if you use this. And if you just absolutely don't get any benefit from it, return it if, it, if you don't think you're gonna use it. But it's something to keep in mind instead of taking medications that could be damaging your organs and causing some long-term problems. If you wanna get a Be Active Plus Sciatica Acupressure Brace, there's a link in the description below to find it on Amazon. We've also got a link to a playlist down there of all our sciatica help videos. We make a bunch of videos to help everyday problems like knee problems, back problems, shoulder, neck, and sciatica as well. And so if you're finding me for the first time, my name is Dr. David Midoff and I'm a specialist physical therapist. And we make helpful videos with tips, exercises, stretches, and advice on how to solve problems at the root. But ultimate goal is to keep you healthy, active, and mobile while avoiding unnecessary surgery, injections, and pain medications. So go check out the Be Active Plus Sciatica Acupressure Brace. Go check out our videos on sciatica help, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.